Good morning, everybody. It's time for boot camp two. For this workout, you're gonna need gloves, wet gloves, special gloves for aqua aerobics, plus aqua dumbbells. It's an hour workout. Make sure you begin with a warm up and, of course, choose your cool down at the end. So, I'm assuming you are already comfortable with both air and water temperature. Let's begin with a cardio exercise. Step to the side, heel back. You'll be moving your arms along, pushing water behind you. Curling heel back with each step. And of course, as always, breathing through it. To make it a little more challenging, add a little bit of a jump when you curl your leg. Lift up your chest. We got two minutes. It's a great exercise because it's gonna target those hamstrings, muscle located on the back of your thighs, plus tricep. Ooh. If you get bored quickly, start moving around the pool. I'm gonna take it forward for four, following the same arm moves. Now heading back, I'm gonna reverse. Ooh, that takes me back quite fast. And then I'm getting back to you. Yeah. And away. Make sure you take a great use of the water resistance every single time. Control your breath. Keep those core muscles engaged. We're almost there. Final seconds. I'm gonna pick up a little more tempo. You do the same thing. Keep going. With this workout, we're gonna target every single muscle group. We're gonna float, we're gonna move hard way up, we're gonna shape our body. Final two reps, and we got it. Perfection. Now guys, for cross-country skiing, we're gonna go out, down, up to the water surface, and forward. And let's not tuck those knees now. So you're gonna switch your legs like so, keeping your feet close to the bottom of the pool. One, two, Drop it down and up. One, two, drop it down and up. Keep your body nice and long. Belly in, chest lifted. Looking good. With this exercise, you definitely work your arms, your chest, your back muscles, and of course, legs. But comparing to boot camp one, this one will target your upper body a little better. I'm gonna turn around, but nothing else will change. I'm keeping the same tempo and I'm moving with the same range of motion.
now I'm picking up a little more speed because I know this is the last set of eight. And that's the last one and it really feels like the last one because my arms ooh. <laughs> guys next exercise I'm gonna reposition myself and get closer to the side of the pool because I will be pushing feet against the wall it's a floating exercise called V this is gonna be my feet position I'm gonna move my arms back as I kick my feet forward to create V you can absolutely do it anywhere in a pool if you wish, but I wanna show you two options. One here and the other one, pushing feet against the wall. Dragging hands in an opposite direction. Not only you're gonna get better V, but you're actually gonna work your back muscles very effectively. It's really important that you don't end up tilting back and reclining like this. You should look like you were sitting on a chair, just stretching those legs forward and back, forward and back. Let's avoid swinging and overarching or stretching the lumbar spine. I'm gonna do one minute here and one against the wall. Let's begin. This one is fantastic for abs. I know you can feel it. Always exhale when you push your feet forward. And I'm gonna try a couple back against the wall. During this next segment, you're gonna need aqua dumbbells. We're mixing two moves together. Shake the water off, because the first set, you're going above the water for insanely fast aqua jacks. 30 seconds, legs open, arms open. Jump in and out, jump in and out. Just, can we do it twice as fast? Go. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. You got thirty seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Give me ten more. Keep pushing up. You can go up and down this way, or with a little bit more rounded move, like I go. Final five, four, three, and I'll show you why I like this version a little bit more. Push them below the water and sprint. Go. 
Speed up a little bit more, final 10. Perfect, okay. So I like to push them a little forward because I don't want to splash myself. <laughs> you already know, I like to keep my hair dry. <laughs> but of course, if you work out and it's sunny weather and you actually don't mind a little splash, push it up, no problem. <laughs> Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep going. Ten. We got ten left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Love it. Back to sprint and back to insanely fast jabs right there under the water. Keep going, keep moving those feet up and down, up and down. No bouncing. It's all about dealing with that water resistance. Come on. 10 more seconds. Feel the burn in your bicep, in your arm. Four, three, two, one. Yes. All right, guys, this next is my favorite mix. We're gonna cross it over eight times. Just like this, rotating through our knees. Comes down, horizontal position for dumbbells. Right there, like this. Then we're gonna punch, moving sideways. Eight to the right, eight to the left, and then we're gonna start over. We have two minutes to complete this task. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, take it to the right. Take it to your left. And then cross it over again. You can rotate through your knees if you want, or you can jump, right? You can go. Choose whichever option works for you. You got four more. And go. Take it back. Whoa. Start over. Whoa. I'm dealing with some beasts today here, so I'm gonna splash them away. Another exercise is gonna put our abs on fire. We got rollovers eight times with these, and then we have zigzag with touchdown. Are we ready? For rollovers, I'm gonna open and close my arms. Watch me. One, you keep your feet hip width apart. Two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, and eight. Now you're gonna jump down because your zigzag is with touch down. You go one, touch down, two, uh huh, three, <laughs> four. You also keep your feet hip or shoulder width apart. Two more. To your right, keep those arms open. Perfection. Let's do it again. Ooh. One, two, three. Notice that when I push my feet forward, they go very close to the surface. But then I'm dragging them back a little bit. Again, I don't want to overarch my lumbar spine. One more. And zigzag time. One, ha, two. You want to bounce those feet quickly from the bottom to do the other side. And yeah, two more. And again. Perfection, start over. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Open your arms. Yeah. Three. Again, don't just wait for your feet to come back down. Okay, round three. Back to cardio. We'll begin with one of my favorite moves, swing kicks. So definitely we're gonna prioritize upper body and then we're gonna mix it with the diamond. It doesn't get any better than this. Keep your toes pointed. You lift up your knee first, then you swing your toe forward. Those kicks are anywhere above knee, below hip level. And just move your arms along with this one. Three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds of each exercise. Blend it together, we got two minutes. I'm gonna move my arms out and in and out and in. Diamond, keep your feet together. Knees up and jump and jump. Move it fast. I'm gonna turn around. You don't have to. I just wanna show how everything looks from every angle. This one is great for legs, inner thighs, out thighs, core. Keep going, keep going. It's definitely challenge most lower body. These two moves. Keep going. Again, don't wait for your legs to fall down. You have to do it with your strength. 10 seconds. Notice I'm not jumping up and down, right? The entire action happens below the surface. Final five, four, three, two. You're gonna resume your swing kicks. Don't stop. Keep going. I'm gonna alternate my arms now just to have things a little different. This one is intense.
10 seconds. And diamond, go. Final 10 seconds. Perfect. Okay, moving on, we got strength exercise. We're gonna do fly moves. Opening arms and closing. Lunge position plus front kick. Let's count to six first. One, two, three, four, Five, six, you're gonna open arms, front kick, ha. left kick. Do it again. One, four, five, six, front kick. Do it again. Definitely challenge for upper body here. Two, three, four, five, six, kick it. Strength, it's a strength segment, so you need to put all you got right there to your arm moves and to your front kick. Do it again. Ha. a big Hush. Hold on, first we go to alarm. Let's do one more and then we're gonna switch left to continue for another minute with other kicks. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six kick it. Seven, eight. Do it again. And one more. And it was not too bad. Not too bad at all. For the next exercise, you got again two options. One, you can float anywhere in a pool or you can use the wall. I'm gonna show you both options and then choose my favorite. It's called screwdriver. So it means you're gonna twist a little bit, pushing your feet forward or back against the wall. Use your hands or your gloves, even better with gloves. So you're gonna go to your right, down to your left and down. Once you push your feet forward, you're gonna move your hands back. Here we go. Firstly floating. Right. Great for obliques. It may remind you zigzag a little bit, but now you push it forward, not to the sides. We have two minutes for this exercise, so feel free to explore all options. Here's your option against the wall. Everything looks identical. 
you push it to the wall, get back, wall, come back. I prefer to keep my eyes on you, so I'm gonna choose floating version today. Let's do the last ten. All right. Now, and let us kind of like a cool down. You're gonna place those dumbbells under your knees like so. And that will allow you to float. You pretend you sit on a chair and you're gonna twist, twist from waist down and just breathe. Okay, good. You can move around the pool if you want. You can stay where you are. It's up to you. I need you to use your core strength. Those are small contractions and this exercise is strengthening your obliques especially and deep core muscles. It's also less intensive, so it's good to add it at the end of your routine. Oh, I can barely talk. Guys, thank you so much for choosing this workout. I hope you enjoyed it. It was long, it was challenging. I had a little colder temperature today, and yet somehow <laughs> it was possible. So I bet if you have a wonder uh, warmer weather or just a better conditions right air and water you probably had a lot of sweat we surely burn a lot of calories remember to give your upper body a break next day but you can pick other workouts right there's yoga pilates so many options so choose any of this or something for lower body good job relax